So, something you should know. When I make a video, alright, and I make the video, I just repeated myself, didn't I? Okay. When I make a video, and then something happens and it gets corrupted, like this, the file gets corrupted, and I have to remake the entire video, I get discouraged. <laughs> it's a bad trait, I know, but... Yeah, I actually made this video about two weeks ago. Made this whole video, talked for a good 15, 20 minutes. And then it, I lost connection or something happened and I lost the save file. So yeah, and I'm remaking it. So yeah, it's, um, it's a little after Christmas, a few days after Christmas. Um, I had a pretty good Christmas. Um, present-wise, I can't say that I got, like, massive amount of really awesome presents, but I got some really cool stuff. Like, I got this bathrobe, which I love. And, um, I got this, um, this really splendid game pad from my uncle, and this splendid, um, keyboard from the same uncle. It's a Logitech, and it has a monitor, and it's awesome. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I got a pretty good haul from him, and he also got me a whole bunch of fantastically illegal emulators and ROMs, so, <laughs> yeah, my uncle, he's a very techie guy. He, um, he's really into computers and games and stuff, um, so, yeah, great uncle to have if you're like me <laughs> and are into that. And, um, I also got a new graphics card for my computer, though that was less of a Christmas present and more of just a something I've been looking into for a while, and I show- and I, it just so happens that, um, it arrived in time for Christmas. Yeah, it's- I, I guess it would be a Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah, let's call it a Christmas gift. Yeah, my mom paid for it, so let's call it a Christmas gift. Uh, but yeah, so I got a new gra- I got- a new gra- Okay, when I say a new graphics card, the graphics card itself is new, and is new to me, but, um, it's my first- I'm not- I'm not trying to imply that I replaced an old graphics card because I didn't have a graphics card before. I used to have to run Bioshock on low quality. Play Bioshock on low quality sometime, you will be amazed by how bad not the game, but just the graphics. I'm usually not a massive graphics, I need good graphics kind of guy, but, uh, like, a lot of them, I'm actually kind of into a lot more retro -y games, so it's, graphics have just sort of become sort of a, if you have it, great, if not, whatever, but it gets to a point where just the frame rate is so low quality that you just, I needed a new graphics card. Thing is, my, um, that uncle who got me the keyboard and gamepad, um, he helped me look at my look at my computer just to help me figure out what kind of graphics cards my what system requirements I would need and stuff. So basically, the inside of my computer, I have an HP Pavilion. It's not made for that. It's um, it is not made for going in and tinkering and adding in new, and adding new things. The, uh, the whole idea with the HP line of products is pretty much to just, like, get an entire computer, and when you want something better, you just buy an entirely new computer rather than just upgrading the one or two things you need to upgrade. Like, the motherboard on this computer, I'm pointing to my CPU right now, the motherboard on this computer is upside down. Like, the writing is actually upside down. <laughs> Just take a moment to think about how ridiculous that is. Like, they're actually going out of their way to make it difficult for you to do, to go in and tinker with, and, like, customize your own computer. Like, to get the new graphics card, I have to get the absolute smallest graphics card possible while still yeah, just smallest graphics card possible. Like, I could have, even for the price, um, I could have, 
I could have done better for that price, I'm gonna be honest, but, like, it's just that none of them would have fit because of the way that it's aligned. I would have had to install the graphics card upside down because the motherboard's upside down, and just this whole kerfuffle. But yeah, so, I'm, I'm planning on actually building my own computer. Um, it's probably gonna take me like a year or two, you know, it's not gonna, it's gonna be an ongoing project, and I'll keep you guys posted, you know. Um, that actually, that'd be really cool, just me building my computer. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna build my own computer. Um, like my uncle showed me, like he wrote out a whole list of parts you need, and then just of, um, how much each one would cost for a decent one, and what kind of brands he'd recommend, and just some general advice. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's see what else. So, I'm a little, this isn't very topical, I'm aware, but, um, I mentioned it in the video that I tried to make, but anyway. So, Fallout 4 has been confirmed, and they said that it's going to be set in Boston. And I live 20 minutes outside of Boston. I am rather excited. Bethesda, good decision. I love things that are set in Boston, you know, it's just like, it's like an inside joke and you're in on it, I love that. Um, so my prediction for Fallout 4, um, there's going to be the Science Museum, um, Boston, um, has a really great Science Museum, um, there's going to be an aquarium, and hopefully there will be enemies, water-based enemies other than Meyer Lurks, because I'm getting sick of those. And, you know, there's a lot of potential for water-based enemies, especially in a, um... Boston is, like, basically, on, it's on the East Coast, so they could really easily do, like, a, um... Like, here's Boston, and maybe there's a way to, like, you could travel through... I'm gonna get this right for the camera. This is Boston. And, yeah, this would be the coast. Not geographically correct, I'm aware, but maybe, like, there would be sort of a, um, yeah, there'd be, like, a waste, a massive wasteland here, then there's Boston here, and then there's a, um, just ocean right here. That would be amazing. You know, just, like, imagine a, um, imagine a mutant whale creature. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Just think about it. Um, but yeah, so, and that there's going to be an aquarium, there's going to be a museum of science, and, um, um, Fallout 3 had more of a, um, well, Washington, D.C. setting, so, like, a lot of politics, a lot of historical stuff. Um, Fallout New Vegas had more of a Cowboys sort of theme. I have a feeling that, um, Fallout 4 is going to have more of, like, an American Revolution type theme. I mean, I know that, um, a lot of, um, yeah, no, American Revolution, not the Civil War, I was thinking Civil. Um, yeah. Because if you go to Boston, there are a lot of monuments, like, a lot of monuments to the Revolutionary War. Like, I'm just, even just the gravestones alone, there's like, I think there's like Samuel Adams' gravestone, who, I don't know a lot about history, but I'm pretty sure that's where Samuel Adams I don't know anything about history, I'm going to be honest, but, um, it, Boston is very Revolutionary War based, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of influence like that for Fallout 4, as well as, I f this one I'm not so sure of, but Salem is pretty close to Boston, like, within an hour's drive, so, um, I'm guessing that they're going to get, like, a metro or something to get you to go to Salem because of the Salem Witch Trials. I feel like that would be a really, I feel like they might find some way to incorporate that, because that'd be really cool, like a witch trial Z area, or just make that DLC or something, you know, I feel like they might do that. But yeah, so that's, I'm really excited for Fallout 4, like Fallout 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, and Fallout New Vegas I really liked, so I like, um, 3, I like 3 more than New Vegas, to be honest, it's, Maybe it's just because I played 3 first, but, um, 
I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot more emphasis on exploration. I like the setting more. And, okay, I'm not sure if this is screwing anything up, but, um, yeah, my monitor just went to sleep, okay. Hopefully that didn't screw the video up at all. Anyways. Lost my train of thought there. But yeah, so, um, love Fallout 3, really liked New Vegas. Um, looking forward to Fallout 4. Um, yeah, Fallout 3. So, my, um, stepbrother's Xbox 360, that's how I was introduced to the Fallout series. Um, I played the ever-loving hell out of Fallout 3. Like, just the hours I would spend in my stepbrother's room just playing his game. It's amazing. So you can imagine how upset I was when it turned out that his 360 red ring and he didn't keep any of the memory cards or the game or anything. He just threw it out the third floor window. And then I got New Vegas for my computer. And then I also bought the Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition first on Steam for my computer. And it didn't work. Seriously, like, I shelled out a good twenty, thirty dollars for the Game of the Year edition, and it didn't work. I always figured, though, that since, um, I was sort of okay with it from a moral standpoint, because, um, Fallout 3 I had played a whole lot of already, on, and it was my stepbrother's game, so I technically hadn't paid for it, and this, so I guess... I had just sort of reasoned that um, this was me paying for all of that playtime, but I was still pretty upset, you know. But um, but then I got that new graphics card, and suddenly it works. After a good two years of on and off trying to get it to work, turns out all you needed was a good graphics card. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I actually tried a lot to get Fallout 3 to work on this computer. Like, um, I went into the programming and changed a couple lines of code because an online tutorial said it would work. I went in and changed the cores or whatever they're called on um, my computer to get, because it was supposedly based to work on this one specific configuration and changed that around and that didn't work, so yeah. But how it does! <laughs> I started a new file yesterday, and, um, I'm playing this time as a, um, how should I put this? It's, I have these characters in Fallout. Like, I have three main Fallout-based characters. Um, the first one is named Cypress. He is basically a raider. Like, he, um... He's the one who canonically came out of Vault 101, and he then became a raider, and, um, his father died, and he has this whole, became a raider, became a slaver, became a soldier, became a, it's this whole story, but basically he wound up eventually deciding that he just wants to leave the whole life behind him, and so he flees, basically, while these mercenaries are tailing him. And he flees, and he goes to, um, New Vegas. And on his way there, he gets, um, he picks up a, um, a person named Daniel, who's my second character. And Daniel is more of a do-gooder. He wants to be a mercenary. He wants to, um, he's a good guy, you know? He just he wants to do jobs for people and help people and maybe get paid for it. And so, um, he finds out that Cypress is being followed you know, hunted, and so he agrees to help Cypress out, and he, um, helps him get all the way to New Vegas, so they go all the way from the, they go all the way, I'm pretending that this is the United States, they go all the way from the Capital Waste, from the Capital Wasteland, all the way to, uh, New Vegas, and, um, but they're ambushed by some people on, right, before, right as they're seeing the New Vegas lights, they're ambushed, 
And, um, basically what it comes down to is, um, Cypress is shot and nearly dead. Daniel managed to survive the attack and finish off the attackers. And then, um, Cypress kills himself because he doesn't want to bleed to death slowly. But, um, yeah, so then Daniel was my main char go-to character for Fallout New Vegas. And, um, there was also, there's, and then he, in New Vegas, he meets a woman named Lexi. And Lexi's origin stories I'm still kind of not sure of. But, um, basically Lexi is kind of a, um, chaotic evil would be the D&D &D term used to describe her. Um, yeah, basically Lexi, she likes playing games. Um, like there's one point where, um, she plays a ver where after she does all of this stuff to the main character, and the main character doesn't know why or who she is, and he has all these questions about her. She says that she'll answer his questions if he plays a version of Russian roulette, where he'll, she'll answer a question every time she pulls the trigger. Like, she, she's just sort of... She plays games like that. That's basically her character. Um, then it later turns out that it was a blank, and she just wanted to screw with him a little. Um, but yeah, so that was, um, those are my sort of three characters, and, um, this time, for, um, now that I got Fallout 3 working, basically I'm doing a variation of Lexi's story, um, obviously she's not, she can't come from the Capital Wasteland because Daniel's from the Capital Wasteland, and I feel like that would just be, the backstories would just be too similar. Anyways. I'm just doing a variation of it, so, like, I'm just playing as the character, as if she were. I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm role-playing, essentially. I'm, and I'm having fun, so. But yeah, so that's pretty much been the past few days. Uh, thanks for listening, and till next time.